Look, he doesn't love me. He just feels sorry for me. Doesn't love you? He's compared you to the plague. What else could it be? Well, he wants me to marry another man. Does he? I drew up a list of 20 eligible bachelors, and he turned them all down. And for what reasons? This one had a low hairline. And this one graduated from Purdue. He even turned him down. Rock Hudson? He said you'd have to live in California. When he talks about a simple, dull, unimaginative husband, he means himself. Well, he didn't say he was in love. How could he? It's like having a baby. The man is always the last one to know. And how do we awaken our sleeping beauty? Not with a kiss, but with a sledgehammer. Oh, but going away with Beasley for the weekend. It has to be a Beasley. If he's as repulsive as you said he was. Worse. Wouldn't it work if I ran away with you? No, he'd only admire your choice. He has to feel you've chosen someone inferior. To shatter Thorpe's ego, you've got to go off with the lowest human being you can find. That's Beasley. Ooh. He's so low, when they bury him, they're gonna have to dig up. Uh, Mr. Beasley, please. Now just say what we told you. Believe me, we're doing this for Philip. It's for his own good. And yours, too. He's a very nice man. And I'm the last one to admit it. But even if it worked, it wouldn't be honest. I'd be tricking him. Well, this is a terrible way to get a man. Let's re-examine. Stop pressing her. Miss Timberlake, you have now arrived at the crossroads that every woman eventually arrives at. You can either be an honest old maid or a happy liar. Hello? This is Catherine Timberlake. Well, hello there. Oh, I've been thinking about you. I wonder if I could uh, reconsider your invitation, Everett. Well, I'm not one to hold grudges. Uh, tonight? We could have a TV dinner at my apartment. Asbury Park. Oh, um, well, I've heard of this, um, charming little place in, uh, Asbury Park. It's, um, Al's Motel. That's a long drive. Uh, what time do you have to be home? Uh, it all depends. On what? Oh. Everett. I'll borrow my brother-in-law's car. Uh, uh, pick me up at five. And I'll be waiting, Everett. Oh, like a snake. When he smiles, he rattles. He'll pick you up at five. At oh. one minute past five, I'll be at the athletic club and drop the bombshell in Mr. Shane's lap. Good. Oh, what if he doesn't follow us? You don't know your history. We're dealing with a monumental ego. You'll never get halfway to Asbury Park.